Hello, here we have problem number 33 uh, from chapter 6. Assume the resistive force acting on a speed skater is proportional to the square of the skater's speed V and is given by uh, resistive force, which is in this case is F is equal minus KMV square, where K is a constant and M is a mass, is a, uh, and the M is a, the skater's mass. The skater crosses finish line of the a straight line race with the speed of v initial and then slows down by coasting on his skates shows that skater speed at any time t after crossing the finish line is vt is equal uh, v initial divided by one plus kt v initial okay so first of all let's draw a picture and see what happening there now this is a horizontal line Suppose that case skitter is 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 coming with a with a uh, with a certain speed, right? So we see that he will have a, a applied force F. Then here we have a resistive force which is F. Okay. Now since if it's moving to the right, then we have an acceleration. Okay. Then when he comes to the finish line you will have a certain v initial okay but however once he crosses the finish line when he is just here he will stop applying that force okay which will cross it so that means we will have only a resistive force but we still have a acceleration this acceleration will start decelerating the person so that means at some point here you will have a final velocity which will be equal to zero so that means we have to find uh we have to find that at any time at any time between the stopping and the finish our velocity as a function of time will be changing as a v initial divided by 1 plus k t v initial okay this is what we have to prove now if that's the case uh, after the finish line then we can write down that there's only one force and there is acceleration so that means we were starting with the Newton's second law, sum of the forces is equal to ma. Now, when in this finish line, you will have only the force, which is a resistive force, right? So that means we can say that our resistive force is resistive force is is equal to ma. Okay. Now the resistive force is given, which is minus k constant mass of the skater v squared right which is equal to m a now we can just cancel m's we can have minus k v squared is equal to acceleration now if you want to find how the velocity is changing over time then we can say that its acceleration is equal to dv over dt okay so that means we can make a cross multiplication dt goes here and k goes there so that means we can have uh, minus k dt is equal dv over v squared okay now what is next so we have uh, dt on the left side and dv on the right side that means we can integrate both sides okay we can integrate both sides by saying that okay the time is changing from zero to the any time t and our v is changing from v initial until v final okay so that means after the integration what we're going to get we're going to get minus k t the the values will be zero, from zero to t and is equal to dv over v square 
So V square goes up, which means V uh, to the power of minus 2 and dV, right? So let me just write it down here. Uh, v minus 2 dV, integral from V initial to the V, okay? So after the integration, we will get that uh, it will be equal to uh, V power of minus 1 divided by 1. And the limits will be from v initial till the v final, okay? Now let's put the values, then what will we get? So minus k t minus 0 is equal to, you plug it here, so I forget here, put the minus sign. So if you plug it that one there, you will get minus 1 over v final plus 1 over v initial. Okay, then what we have here we have minus kt, here we have uh, minus 1 v final plus 1 divided by v initial, right? So let's bring the v final on the left side and the kt minus kt on the right side. Then we can have 1 over v is equal kt plus 1 over v initial. And we can multiply v initial here. Then we can get 1 over v, which is equal to kt v initial plus 1 divided by the v initial, right? Then, finally, we can say that if we make cross multiplication, we will get uh, v initial here is equal uh, v kt v initial plus 1, right? Uh, then, what we will get then? Then, after that, if you want to find the V, we can just say that our V is equal uh, V initial divided by KT V initial plus 1. Okay? So that means we have proven that our velocity, final velocity, will change over time. Now, as you can see, t is uh, inverse, so that means as time goes, our v final gets less and less, okay?